Hi, Griffin. Hi, Phil. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm a little elephant. Do you like elephants? I hate them so much. Wow. They're, the, they're my least favorite animal. Griffin, don't hang up the call, but I want to ask you a question. What if Sonic the Hedgehog were good? Uh, that's built on a false premise, and the judges will not accept that argument, unfortunately. This is Tembo the Badass Elephant, new game published by Sega, who you may know as the creators of Sonic the Hedgehog, um, developed by Game Freak. Yeah, we had a conversation about this earlier today where I expressed my disappointment that they just weren't spending all of their hours on the next Pokemon. You know, they're probably making another Pokemon. I know they're making another Pokemon, but every hour that they spent making this was an hour that they, another hour of development time that I have to... Anyway, it's very complicated. Tell me about Timbo, though, because I like his style. It looks pretty, right? Um, so this is a, it's a 2D platformer, um, a very colorful 2D platformer. You play as an elephant um, who is in a war zone. Um, there are a number of different collectibles that you're running through these areas getting, and it's like Sonic the Hedgehog, a game very much based around sort of momentum. Um, you you have a very limited move set, but the moves um, kind of propel you forward. So by holding down one button, I do that dash, and then I'm just kind of constantly moving forward and breaking through barriers. Um, there is a uh, if I if I press the dash button while I'm in the air, I will basically turn myself into a giant spinning ball of death. Again, okay. very like Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, but uh, as an elephant, I can uh, oh my hold God. water and shoot out water and then uh, put out little and fires you, and such. And you have a limited supply of water. Uh, yeah, and I mean, but the, generally speaking, anywhere where you're going to need it, there's uh, spots to refill fairly regularly. Is um, there a little man on your back? Yeah, so what happens here, there are a number of different collectibles. Uh, you can see the uh, 22 out of 254 up there. That is the enemies in the level, who are uh, these soldiers, evil soldiers for an organization called Phantom. Um, and, you know, one of the collectibles in the game is just killing all of the evil soldiers in that level. Um, one of the other collectibles is you're rescuing POWs. Uh, so the little guy on the back is one of the, each level has ten, um, and he's one of them who I have rescued in this level. Are you powered by peanut butter? I'm, yes. I, I'm sort of trying no, to figure you're, everything you're else. putting it all uh, together. The I'm using final, iconography to... The, the final thing that you're collecting is peanut butter, or PB, as you can see there. Um, those are basically sort of like your rings or your coins, if this were a Mario game. Um, you get a certain number, which is, it's like 250 or something. Um, and at that point, you get another life, essentially. Okay. Um, so here I've, uh, moved ahead to a, a different level. This is sort of like a factory setting. Just kind of wanted to show off some of the variety of environments, um, and some of the I different got, I enemy say, types. I gotta say, it's, it's good to see this thing in motion because I feel like all of the screenshots I saw kind of made it look kind of ugly. Like, I didn't really sure. like the art style very much at all, just sort of seeing it, uh, all still. It kind of looks like a, uh, I don't know, like a crappy Flash game. But no, in, totally. when it's in motion, like it actually looks really good. I think you're 100% right. It is a game that benefits from from motion, both in the sense of like, I think the art style looks better, and also it's just, it gives you a better sense of like what the game is about, which, you know, like I said, it's, it's a really a game about momentum. It's about, um, you know, seeing how long you can string together a single run. Um, you know, you can, seeing if you can turn yourself into a spinning ball of death and, and get past a, an obstacle. Um, Does Timbo have any fun catchphrases? Like, you know, chili dogs or... So what What you're going to see is as he's running, when I do that dash, um, it's shooting out the bada, which I think is supposed to be like like the... It's the start of the word badass, which is in the title. Oh, I don't like that. We should talk about the swearing. Oh, the title's bad. Can we talk... <laughs> yeah, That's, it's, it's not good. It's, it's not a good title. It's not a well-named game. Um... Which is something are you, wait, that, are you saying that are you saying that because like you don't like the words or because of the swears? Because a little of both. Friendly. A little both. Yeah. You know, I get really uh, swearing is a it's a, a sore spot for me. I have a, uh, I have a young child. Um, you know, I'm not going to play this in front of my young child with swear words. Yeah. So I had to go back to Grand Theft Auto instead. <laughs> yeah, but you use the the fun time family filter. Oh on yes, GTA of course, naturally. Um, uh, this looks, yeah, this looks a lot more fun than I thought. Listen, I'm, I, joking aside, I am very concerned with how Game Freak decides to spend its time. Because I'm, I'm spiritually invested in that, uh, developer's output. Listen, Game Freak's um, a big company. I bet they got some people working on, working on a bunch of different projects. They got their best folks working on, well, on this, maybe. God, what if they did put their best folks on this? And then the B-team got the stuck B -team on, on Pokemon. the B-team on Pokemon, yeah. 
what is it, Pokemon Z probably is going to be the next one. Is, have they not announced one currently? Uh, I mean, there's po Pokin, but that's not them. That's kind of um, surprising. It's the first time in a while that we haven't had a Pokemon in the fall. Listen, I don't want to talk about it because it's giving me panic attacks every night. Here's the, um, uh, so there's like these little sub-bosses, this is kind of fun, you, there, there are a, a, a handful of points where you will interact in the background, or you'll be running through a level and there's like, uh, something shooting at you the whole time, and, uh, they're generally, thus far, you know, I'm, I'm about two worlds into the game, um, they've, they've been very entertaining and not, uh, not frustrating, which I, I appreciate, um, and then there are, of course, actual boss fights, um, so this is, this is the first boss of the game. Um, the enemies seem to be mostly made up of giant tanks and robots, um, but this is a giant tank that looks looks like a dragon. I'm into that. Yeah, it's pretty um, cool. Are there any baby elephants in the game? Because I am actually very much into those. Not I think elephants, yet. elephants as an animal are just sort of a waste of time. Yeah. Um, but baby elephants, I you that, often not call that them. Get you into. often call regular sized elephants uh, God's mistake. I call them uh, fat trunked rhinos. <laughs> Because a rhino is dope, right? Sure. Like they'll a rhino will just wreck stuff. I almost swore there. Ooh, that was close. Um, I like but that. Ele <laughs> elephants just like. There's two things I like about this boss battle. One is the 500 there up top. You can see those guys were just there was 500 dudes in that tank apparently, and they're all dead now. They're all they all went into the fire. But I also like that that boss was literally just like pushing a robot off the edge, like just run into him until he falls. Does Timbo ever use a gun? He is a soldier. Uh, he's he's supposedly badass, so you know I, I'm I'm thinking at some point, right? Um, there is there is like a weird little story that's being told through motion graphics in between levels. Um, it's not you know it's not much. It's not going to distract from the actual game, but um, you know if you're if you're into that, if you're into stories about elephants in wartime, how is the competitive squad-based multiplayer? Mean? <laughs> uh, you've got to rescue your squad first, and then. I hear your they friends can the, ride on your back. <laughs> I hear they changed how the kill streaks work this time, and it's been pretty contentious. This game's pretty cool. I, I was surprised. I went in not really sure what to expect, not necessarily expecting a good game, but I'm really digging it so far. And you know, as somebody who likes platformers, I think this is a a really solid platformer. And again, if you're into Sonic, if that's something that you you want to like at least, or you liked at one point in your life, this is doing a lot of the stuff Sonic does, but not screwing it up, which is that's well, welcome. Even if this game was bad, then it, they would have nothing to screw up. I'm saying that they, this game is benefiting from being starting from scratch, you know what I mean? Absolutely. There's no weighty expectations. No, 100% true. But uh, I think it's it's worth checking out. This, uh, this is going to be available on uh, various platforms next week. Um, I've been playing, this is the PS4 version that you're seeing here. It seems cool. I just wish again, if we had gotten a rhino in there, and we could have maybe it's an it. unlockable. Like maybe maybe you, maybe, you, uh, could, maybe if you get all the collectibles, you unlock a rhino. We could have called it Rambo. If the if a rhino was in it, hmm. but like R H Ambo. I don't know about this, Griffin. Check out what if Tempo. what if you can play as what if you can play as Big the Cat. Oh, maybe that's an unlockable. Check out Tempo, the badass elephant. It's better than I expected. Uh, it'll be out next week, and we will have a full review on the site next week as well. What's the score? Can you tell me? You can cut this out of the video, but what's the score?